Samantha, at seven days old, was given up by her parents after they called in at 1 a.m. in the morning, saying, if you don't take this girl, we will throw her in the river. HIV doesn't have to be the end. It's simply a new beginning. It's a different journey. They deserve to be treated just the way any other child does, and they deserve the same rights to education and jobs that anybody else does in this society. And I thought I could provide one for them. Agape was started in 2004 with about six kids in my living room. Today, as mother of 230 children, I'm very proud to say that HIV hasn't stopped them from reaching their fullest potential. It costs a lot to, to run a full English medium school, nutritional supplements, protein powder, all the medicines that we have to provide. So I, I really focused on keeping kids healthy and getting them to survive. As most of you know, as parents, it's not cheap to raise a child. And it's really not any different at Agape. It's very costly, maybe even more, because of all the extra caretakers that we need. <laughs> Agape is no ordinary program, and maybe we're not even extraordinary, but we really need people like you to help us to provide opportunities for these children, whether it's rice or toiletries or any other items. We need your help to make a difference and transform lives.